Hey everybody, and welcome back to R&B Homestead. Today, we're gonna be planting broccoli. So, make sure you hit that bell notification so you're notified every time I do a video. Make sure to give us that thumbs up and hit that subscription button. But without further ado, let's get into the video. And hey everybody, welcome back. Today we are planting broccoli. Now, broccoli is one of those plants that it likes sun, but it can survive in the shady weather. I'm here in 7A in Virginia, and our last frost date is April 15th. Now, you can plant these earlier, but I like to plant them four to six weeks before our last frost date. That's just me. But just like um, your lettuce and your kale, depending on the weather, sometimes it tastes a little bit better when it's colder outside. But today we're gonna we're gonna plant Calabrese Green Sprouting Broccoli, which is an heirloom broccoli. Now this one will uh, germinate within 10 days, the seed, but you won't be able to get any broccoli for about 58 to 70 days. Then we have the Sun King Hybrid which again is 10 days for germination, but you're looking at around 70, 75 days before your broccoli will be ready to harvest for this variation. And then the third variation we're doing is DECCO, D-E-C-I-C-C-O. Now this one is a little bit hardier. You're going to have to wait at least three months before you can harvest this one. It usually takes 90 days, but the seeds do germinate within 10 days. Now, mind you, after germination, I like to plant more than one seed in each sale. So that gives me a better chance of having something germinate. And then after they've germinated and they're growing, and they're ready to be taken out of maybe within the 10 day span. I take them out and I put them all in their individual little pots so you can have your individualized broccoli. So let's get started. What I did was I filled all my trays. I have six trays here. I filled them up with dirt and they all have, they'll have holes in the bottom. So I have a little tray right here. I do like to water from the bottom so that allows the uh, trays to actually pull the moisture up instead of me pointing on top and having my seeds go all like this in the trays. So once you fill your trays up like this, I usually fill them up. I just saved us some time here. You go ahead and you take your thumb and you press down in each cell. Because these two of the variations like to be buried uh, about one fourth inch from the top while the hardier one, which is the Desicchio, it likes to be planted about a half of an inch from the top. So go around, mash, take your thumb, and push down on each of the cells. Now, like I said before, to ensure that I have some broccoli and that it does germinate, I put uh, two to three seeds in each cell. So let's go ahead and do this calories green sprouting broccoli first. If I can open the package. Being very special. So this is what the calories green sprouting broccoli seeds look like. And you're going to plant three in each little container. And if you do more than three, it's okay. It's not the end of the world. Because like I said before, all the seeds are not going to germinate. You would want 100% germination, and that would be wonderful, but realistically, it usually doesn't happen. Okay, we'll go ahead and put this right here, because I didn't pre-write my tag, so I need to know what I put in these little pots. 
So now we're going to do the Sun King. And again, same thing. We push down on the little trays. Oh, that was close. And let's just set this on top here. And we're going to do three feet per. Now this is what the Sun King Hybrid Broccoli Seed looks like. And they're very tiny. And I done spilled some. Remember, three seeds per tray. Go ahead and put these other ones away. So what's going to happen is once these germinate in two weeks, we're going to be planting some more because it takes too long to get them. So we put that right there. And our third one, the Shikyo, it takes the 90 days. So go ahead. And this is what the Desikyo seeds look like. One more in that container. Now, I am growing these in container and transporting uh, them because, um, one, I live in 7A, so our last frost date has not passed. And also, I live in an apartment. So having a small space is not an excuse not to grow your own food. You just have to be very creative. So I'm growing everything in containers. And hopefully I have enough harvest where I have some for myself and I have some to sell at the market also. So. Now that we've gone ahead and put this vacuum over here because you know I can't have this dirt all over the place. So I'm going to, that's what I was doing because I was planting and I got dirt all over the floor. So I had to vacuum it up. Luckily I have hardwood floors so that it's not a big hassle but got to have clean floors. So now that we've gone ahead and put the seeds in we're going to cover them lightly with some soil so let me get some soil out here make sure we cover them up There we go. Potty mix over there. So now that we've, we've uh, gone ahead and put them in, now we need to do our little naming tags. Now I usually do this ahead of time, but I was so hyped to get to growing this broccoli that I didn't do it. So I'm going to put, now here I put the, I usually put the, uh, variation um, that I have um, that I'm using only because I like to keep track for next season and then I also put the date that I am planting these so that I can keep track of that
There we go. So we got all our names in. So this one is for the cowboy breeze. Go ahead and stick that in there. This one's for the Ezekiel. And this is the Sun King. Then I can go ahead and tighten these seeds up. And put them back oop, in our container. You guys get the real bloopers and all. I don't take them out because this is real life gardening. You have gardening learning lessons as I call them. I remember one time I had the seeds and I thought I was packaging them. They went all on the floor. And you best believe I got every last one of them. Put our seeds back so that in about 10 days we can go and start and growing us some more. So I told you before our water from the bottom. So we're going to go ahead and fill this up about a third of the way. We'll let this sit for about an hour or two. Then I'll take the, the bottom tray and dump out the excess water. So I want to thank you guys for coming back and gardening with me at RMB Homestead, where we contain a garden in an apartment until we get that property in Arizona. So make sure you hit that bell notification so you're notified every time that I do a video. Also make sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe and let all your family and friends know about our channel. Until next time, See you later.